I became a bail bondsman after the financial crisis. I didn't want to continue in the corporate world. Uh, I got laid off in 2009, which many did. So after that, I said, I'm going to go into bail bonds. It seems interesting. So one thing that you can do once you're licensed, you cannot solicit or advertise your bail bondsman on jail grounds. So that's why they have those, like the bail bonds places are always right outside of the jails. Yeah, so how it works, the bail bond industry is basically 24-7, you're, uh, you're on call. So somebody that's trying to get maybe a loved one out of jail, they'll call a bail bondsman. And then that bail bondsman will go to the jail after they receive the premium, which is the actual expense it takes. It's usually 10% or 15% of the, the, the actual bond. So if somebody calls me, I have a decision to make. I can either go myself and write a bond to be able to say to the, the jail, I'm gonna provide the amount to get this person out and I'm liable for that amount if that person doesn't show up to court. So that's when people skip court because they feel like they're about to be convicted. They, they might be terrified. They might you know skip out of town or to another country. And that's where the US Marshals can find you obviously, especially if Liam Neeson is hired. Let's say if that person is in Mexico or in some other country, the bail bond agency now has to pay the entire bond, not just that percentage that the individual paid or their loved one paid to get them out. The bail agency has two years to recover that money and they have to, they have expenses to pay. They have everything you can imagine. You have to hire somebody like a bounty hunter, quote unquote. A bail agent is a surety agent. That's what the legal term is to get that license you have to undergo a course when i took it it was about a week long it was taught by an fbi agent that was retired a very good course and at the end of the course they have somebody that can offer you a concealed weapon license you have an individual or an agency that's responsible for the person being taken out of jail and then at a lot of the time you even have a gps on these individuals to ensure that they're making it to court and in the event that they're a flight risk you have some sort of measure or control to combat that, right? But if you have somebody that goes out in pretrial release, maybe it was a first offense, they assaulted somebody, and then the, after the hearing and all that, they're like, ah, it's all good, we'll let them out. All right, that person's free to go, but they still have a court date. Yeah. Who's gonna go ahead and, and make sure that they make it to the court date? Nobody. So if they decide not to go or they forget, Nobody's really responsible. Now there's a bench warrant for that person's arrest because they skipped in 2010 when I was already doing the bail bonds. I, I returned to the corporate world because I said, you know what, that's my bread and butter. I can't really abandon it. I did, uh, at that point I already had six years under my belt and I had climbed the ladder significantly. I was on a week vacation and then this is when the bail agent license paid off. I got a call while I had my newborn with me and then it was a big bond. So I was gonna make a commission of $2,500 on that, just that one call basically. And I'm like, perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. You know, if I wouldn't have gone through all this, I wouldn't have known, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to benefit in that way. To diversify your source of income makes you kind of hedge your bets. You don't have to just do one job. That definitely diversifies your skill set. When I was driving Uber for like three months, I picked up this lady. A bucket of chicken behind me. <laughs> She's like, hey sugar, you want some hey, chicken? Sugar. I'm like, oh thanks so much. I just ate actually, I just started the shift, but yeah, that was so funny, dude. Some chicken. And then somebody else got in the car and then I started talking about bail bonds and they're like, oh man, that's so interesting. Like, I've actually been wanting to learn about this. Call me right now, 305-896-8517 if you get into trouble. So, 